I used to look at a messy studio and believe that that artist was too busy or too, so focused on their work that the, the cleanliness or the organization of their space needs to suffer. It needs to be that way for their work to be what it is. I think up until now, I really admired messy studios. I would directly like correlate how messy a studio is with how brilliant an artist is or how brilliant their work was. And um, I mean, now that I practice myself, I realize that a clean studio is best for me. Uh, so when I was young, like long before um, I was doing art myself, I romanticized a lot uh, about messy studios, about like what an artist's life was like that could treat his or her space like that. It looked like a lot of freedom. It looked like there was no one there to tell them what to do or how to do it. It looked like there was no rules. I started painting in 2019 and a lot of my practice was abstract and I think at that time I was still searching for that idea of freedom or I guess like the the concept of it you know I was gunning for a large studio space where I could fling paint and you know I didn't really have to learn any method or technique about like the art I was trying to make I just, I just didn't want to be told what to do. A couple of years ago, um, I started working in a tattoo shop and, and not, all of that changed. I learned a lot of things working in a tattoo shop that gave me freedom in other areas that I didn't know that I needed. Like a lot of my job was uh, setting up and breaking down artists. And I really started to see the benefit of having like a routine or a process that helps you keep things in order. And I got to see like how these artists would like grind out day to day. Um, and I admired that <clears throat> like a lot more than being free or having, having no rules. So the way that like I prefer to organize my studio is just to make sure that I have everything that I need to make images that day, like like right in front of me, um, or like not hard to find, or they don't need to be cleaned a second time, or they're not ruined, or <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I don't have any like extremely rigid rules for myself when it comes to like managing my studio, but I do find it like really helpful um, and, and a lot less stressful to just have, to have everything I need when I, when I want it. And by keeping my stuff organized, like that's how I, that's how I achieve that. Um, those nails that I just <coughs> showed you guys uh, was what I used to use to hang up my canvas. But uh, at the old studio, it like uh, sort of ate up the walls. These are actually like dollar brushes from uh, Harbor Freight. I've never used them before, but um, I'm just trying to find ways that are gonna help me with that practice. They're not, they're more affordable. We'll see, this doesn't feel so great. Um, but the one inch seems okay. This seems tight enough. I'm a little afraid, but uh, usually I'm using like small brushes like this and it takes me, yes. Uh, this is my largest brush, it's like my favorite brush, but um, I scratched off the logo. Um, the old man, I, that. I think having a clean studio helped me rid of all the things that distracted me.
from, <clears throat> from getting to the work that I actually wanted to do. I know that there are many artists that have different practices. We all make different types of work and they all require different processes. But for me, like cleaning my space and having everything organized was one of the, the, big, the big things in my practice that helped me focus all my attention on, on what I feel is important. I know that over time, like my idea of freedom might change again and that maybe my studio will become messy depending on like what processes I have in terms of, you know, like what kind of art I'm making. I think what I'm really trying to say is whether you have a messy space or a clean space, uh, do your best to get rid of all the distractions, all the things that are gonna be obstacles um, so that you can just make what you need to make. Anyway, those are just my thoughts and opinions. If you guys are interested in hearing more about my art practice and perspectives on art, uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, like, and comment your thoughts below.